So thank you, Mark. Uh, before we go to lunch, just a few uh, general ref reflections uh, for, uh, about what we could have learned uh, today uh, from the presentations. Uh, Mark, you uh, very rightly uh, addressed uh, that it is time for new perspectives and, and for new questions. Yeah? And we, if we bring this uh, into the European context, we can see, of course, uh, the Lisbon Treaty uh, as a start uh, of a new era of criminal policy um, in the European Union yeah? and this provides chances um, and opportunities to put forward such new questions yeah? to develop new perspectives yeah? instead of just doing the same what member states have done for decades uh, for not to say uh, for centuries. A while ago, um, a significant shift could be uh, witnessed uh, in criminological theory. Uh, in the past, uh, the classical, the traditional approach was focused on deviant behavior um, as the only, as the sole point of reference. Generations of criminologists were searching for explanations why people are offending. Then suddenly the focus shift, yeah? John Dunesco did describe this very well. Yeah? The phenomenon of crime is now suddenly addressed by asking why are people not offending? Yeah? What makes them desist from offending and perhaps from re-offending? Still the same issue, but a totally different approach. And it involves a variety of actors that are relevant, including society as a whole. This is why treatment is such an important issue. Willem van der Brugge earlier mentioned that, that famous quote that the way in which we treat offenders is good to characterize our society. Today we have to add the same is true with regard to the treatment of victims. I think this morning has clearly shown that the focus has to be on individuals, individual offenders, individual victims, individual people involved in the criminal justice services. And we, we, we have seen that, the, that there are many indicators that a better criminal justice system is something that can be achieved indeed. European criminal policy is still at its beginning. The criminal justice platform has been set up with the aim to provide input to the development of such policies. Before we now close the session and go to lunch, um, I'd like to express once again our explicit thanks, first of all to the Generalitat de Catalunya for hosting us, to all our speakers, um, to um, other people that have been involved in the preparation of this event, first of all, Anna Esquera uh, from the Ministry of Justice uh, in Barcelona and also the local team of the representation uh, here in Brussels. And last but not least, to all of you for joining us today. And now you are invited for lunch. Thank you very much.